Uh, number two is a problem with it is, and I've already mentioned this, it doesn't excuse fornication or inappropriate touching. So I've got some examples here is, you know, hugging, holding hands, and, and these are my opinions, you know, hugging, holding hands, kissing, you know, caressing one another or sitting close together. Because a lot of people do think that. A lot of people think, well, I'm not single, I'm dating, I'm a boyfriend and girlfriend with somebody, therefore these things are acceptable now. And that's, that's what the world's philosophies would be. It's, you know, or she's your boyfriend and girlfriend. So we see a boyfriend and a girlfriend and they're sitting close and they're touching and they're hugging and they're holding hands and we think, oh, you know, that's fine. But according to God, that's not fine. You know, because it, the Bible says it's good for a man not to touch a woman. It's better if you're not married to just abstain from that and just wait until you're married and then you get the green light. Because what if it doesn't work out? Do you know what I mean? If you're not married, if you haven't gone past the point of no return, there's still a chance that it doesn't work out. You know, something might, not ha something might happen where it doesn't work out and, and you're pushing the boundary and stealing the purity of that other person. Do you know what I mean? So what right do you have when you're not married to that person to take their purity, to take that kiss, to, to hold their hand, to hug them? You don't have a right to these things and you're stealing this purity from the person's future spouse. And if you're not stealing it from their future spouse, you're stealing it from yourself. Because if you're the future spouse, now you're, you're stealing that blessing from yourself. Um, which for those of us who have made mistakes, and I'm not up here preaching that I'm perfect, obviously not. And you know, and don't, you know, don't make me your moral standard. Like if you're asking in your head, oh, Victor, did you do all these things before, before you were married? I did. You know, I'm happy to confess that to you, but then does that make it right for you to do it? No, don't, don't, make, don't make me your moral standard. Don't say, oh, Victor did it, therefore it's okay for me to do it. You know, um, follow, follow God, don't follow man. So, you know, you know we, we, those of us who made these mistakes, we know that, you know, it would have been so much more of a blessing if we left it till after we were married. 